Today I'm gonna to be making a lunar calendar. What's a lunar calendar? It's a chart that shows you exactly what phase the moon is in on any given day. It tells you when the full moons are, when the new moons are, first quarter, all that good stuff. I'm gonna start off with a rough sketch. I want it to vaguely resemble like a tarot card. So I'm going with this tall rectangular shape. So this main section at the bottom is gonna be for the chart. And then at the top, just to have a nice little illustration of the moon and just like a nighttime scene, you know? We got the, the moon as if it was like a tarot card. We've got the moon written at the bottom. And then at the top somewhere, we'll have the year 2020. Moon here, stick some mountains in here. This is gonna be kind of like a fantasy scene. So I don't want the moon to look too realistic. And obviously you shouldn't be able to see through the shadow on the moon. But this is my drawing and I think it looks cool. So don't worry about that. You're gonna be able to see straight through the moon for no reason at all. Right, what else are we gonna do? The sky, in the sky we're gonna have stars, obviously. Shooting stars in there. I'm gonna put loads of shooting stars in there. You know what I like? Those photos, those long exposure photos of the sky where you just see the trails of the stars and it just looks like there's hundreds of shooting stars. Try and make it that kind of look. Maybe put some trees in there in the foreground. This will be the actual chart of all the moon phases, so I'm gonna have to draw like 365 moon, no, 366 this year, isn't it? Because it's a leap year. Gonna have to draw 366 moons, all at the correct phase. That's gonna be a mission. Obviously, on the sketch, I'm not gonna draw all 366 and so in this space here I guess we'll have just a bit of a mandala kind of looking like a crescent moon okay so now I have an idea for the layout I'm gonna map out the calendar and do a more precise sketch
All right, so here we go with inking it. I'm gonna start off with the moons and make sure I get all those right because if I get one wrong, I'm gonna have to start again. I started off pretty slow doing all these moons because it was like, I had to concentrate so hard to make sure that I was getting them right. And it was nerve wracking to be honest, but I think by, by the time I got to like April or May, I was getting the hang of it and it sped up a bit. I had to do a lot of research to figure out all the dates because it turns out there's like a lot of misleading information out there that say different dates for full moons and stuff and I wanted to make sure that this is 100% accurate and I'm really confident that it is. You don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to freehand all of the lines on this one just to add a bit of character to it and um, if you're wondering how I'm tracing this from the sketch it's like a ghetto light box I basically just I'm using a glass table and I just put a lamp underneath the table and shine it through my sketch onto the, the top paper easy as I decided to make this calendar because I'm always wondering what the moon's up to I've been using an app for years and years which is great but it doesn't have the charm of like having a print on the wall to just take a look at and know exactly what the moon's doing. Plus I just, I try to avoid looking at screens too much after the sun goes down. In an ideal world I wouldn't look at screens at all after the sun goes down. I just, I don't know, I don't like it. So yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier, how you can just see straight through the shadow of, uh, of the Earth. I mean, I'm not like saying that this is the moon of the Earth, because I mean, look how much bigger than the Earth it is, or how much closer to the Earth it is. I mean, yeah, it's just a made up moon, isn't it? When have you ever seen the shadow of the Earth that tiny? Obviously I'm going with a nighttime scene, it's a calendar of the moon, it just makes sense. And my personal favourite place to look at the moon is the mountains. When I lived in England I would usually go to the mountains to check out meteor showers and full moons or to go camping, so, so that's why the sky has so many meteors as well because cause that's when I would spend the most time looking at the sky was just during meteor showers. Probably still do to be honest. We used to go to this spot that was a couple hours drive from a house called the Long Mint. It was cool because you could just drive to the top of the mountain and just park right there and lay in the heather, just lay on your back looking at the sky watching the meteors. It was just sick, man. Did you know that 2020 has 13 full moons instead of the usual 12? So October is gonna have two full moons this year. That's nice, isn't it? And there you go, my 2020 lunar calendar. I hope it inspires you to create your own lunar calendar instead of using your phone or whatever. And if you don't want to make your own, you can buy this one. I've got prints available on my store and you can even download it instantly and print it yourself at home. Print it like 10 times and give it to all your mates. It's mega cheap, nice affordable way to know what the moon is doing all year round. Thanks for watching and happy moon gazing. Ta-ra!